Hi YouTubers, today I'm actually creating a case for my Raspberry Pi Volumio um, player. So what I've done is I've, um, I'm wearing up the Raspberry Pi. I've got, um, as you can see, the output for the Raspberry Pi and then the, um, the power socket. Um, um, I've I've created, uh, isolated the ground, so um, I don't get ground loops from the power once it's installed. I've got, um, I've got the holes for the transformer um, here, and um, I've got the USB cables for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I've got um, an extender. So I could get the volume out of the Raspberry Pi and the power cord for the Raspberry Pi here. Um, I've yet to install the, the DAT. So I'm waiting for the DAT and once um, the DAT arrives, I'll install the dot DAT and connect the USB cables, um, the power output. I'm going to need... Um, a two-way power distribution circuit, the MOSFET, um, MOSFET and um, protection circuit. So the Raspberry Pi is powered um, with 5 volts and the uh, DAT converter with uh, 5 volts. Um, hoping I could um, then convert that from the wall socket, 200 volts, um, to 20 to 240 so, so far, that's as far as I've got. Um, I'm waiting now for the um, MOSFET converter uh, power distribution, and I'm waiting for the... Um, I'm waiting also for the that module. So, till the next video, that's all for now. Bye, folks. So, hi, folks. It's George here again. So, I've wired up the... The DAT board um, via uh, analog uh, with a USB cable and I've wired it up to the Raspberry Pi um, via the power outlet from the Raspberry Pi to 5 volts and I've installed the volume knob and I've plugged in the Raspberry Pi to the USB. So the next step will be to turn this on and to let you hear uh, what the streamer sounds like. So in, in the next part, I'll um, give you a demonstration of what the streamer sounds like. So that's okay if, all for now. And I'll be back with you in, this, in the third section of this video. That's all for now. Hi folks. There's the old setup I'm playing. I can't act, I can't actually tell you um the sound but there's the setup. Um what I could do is I'll turn it on quickly. Sorry about my finger. I can't play you anymore because that's um Copyrighted, so there's the, the front of the player, there's the Raspberry Pi in operation, and um, there's the on light for the, the DAP, and it's all wired up. And um, what I need to do next is to add um LCD screen um, and connect to Raspberry Pi so I could see what's playing on the system but that's for another day so that's all for now folks bye bye hi right, folks final part of um that's the clear i'll just have to turn that down because of copyright issues so i can't actually play that sound so but that's the final product and it's connected um here to um a usb outlet and um, 
connected to my amplifier so yeah i can't actually but there's there's the the on light to show you that's on and um yeah all i could do really um i haven't got any thingy being that this is um volumio um and i can't actually show you volumio most people you know i'll put the description down below um for how to um get access to volumio um all you need is a raspberry pi 3 or pi 4 with wi-fi you also need um a case you could get this off ebay for perhaps um 30 30 pounds um which was probably about 35 dollars us um there's a case i had laying around used to be a preamp so i'm Obviously, um, I drill holes for preamp, so I now just turned it into a Raspberry Pi system. I've got to still install a switch to turn the Pi, a soft switch to turn the Pi on and off, but that's another issue. Um, at present, I turned the software off in Volumia. There's a shutdown procedure in Volumia to shut down or restart the software. Um, I'll just turn. That's that's again uh, my amplifier. So I'll just turn that down again so I don't get any strikes. Um so yeah, so that's it all completed for. So another project down. Obviously, yeah, it's connected to my subwoofer as well, but obviously subwoofer booms, so I'm not going to actually um play music with the soundwolf at present it's a bit too loud but yeah so that's my audio system so you've got um over there is the new volumia player uh, with a raspberry pi 3 and um a dat bought off um, amazon the dat's about 14 pounds 15 pounds um and then you wear it up it's pretty simple nothing difficult if you know about electronics and how to download um, and um, copy Volumia um, image to an SD card um, using Etcher. I use Etcher to, um, to do the image for Volumia and then I install that in the SD card, test it using the 3.5 meter out jack and a cell phone. You just go to Volumia uh, the org and um, you then set up your software you name your system and then you um, subscribe to Volumia um, if you want to so you could get um, higher quality music something like uh, FLAC or lossless however you could also just um, use the free version of Volumia you set it up you configure the system so the Raspberry Pi sees the, the, the DAT USB. You configure it to play the music via the USB, not via the Raspberry Pi, because the, the sound from the Raspberry Pi is not very, very good. So you you get better sound from the DAT um, output in via um, the white and red uh, analog outputs on the back of the, the DAT. And that then goes um, via a cable to your amplifier, your sign input. And yeah, you then use use that to play your music. Um, in total, I would think you're looking at about 30, 35, that's 65 pounds for the, the, um, the case and the pie. Then you're looking at about fourteen pounds, so you're looking at sixty-five, seventy-five, seventy-nine pounds to say eighty pounds total. You're looking at probably about you know so eighty-five, eighty-five dollars in U.S. currency or in British currency where I am. You're looking at um, yeah about uh, seventy, seventy-nine pounds about about right, um, and obviously you need a hi-fi system. Output the music, so you need an amp with analog in 
um, and then you need lines out on your your system if you've got a system like a Yamaha like I've got then you've got lots of lines out and stuff like that you've got sub out pre out you know so all that stuff so if you've got that set up then you're fine so that's it folks that's um my Volumia uh, Raspberry Pi player uh, which is a little bit better than sticking um, a hat on a Raspberry Pi and putting it in a case it just doesn't look like hi-fi doesn't it but if you do it like this it looks like you've got it part as a hi-fi system um, I blacked out the front of the case so you can't actually see in and uh, so that's blacked out um, using a uh, Persplex, uh, black Persplex but when I've actually sorted out I'll get LCD screen and then I'll be able to output Volumia on that small screen um, I've also got a Volumia player um, which I'm um, you know so another one but that's on using the Raspberry Pi um official seven eight screen so that's all and so i'll see you next time this is george and um bye